look at this e governance will a day come when india's poor can access government services as easily as drawing cash from an atm no country in the world has made accessing education or health or policing or dispute resolution as easy as an atm because the nature of these activities requires individuals to use their discretion in a positive way technology can certainly facilitate this in a variety of ways if it is seen as one part of an overall approach but the evidence so far in education for instance is that just adding computers alone doesn't make education any better and so i am not getting a sense of where this passage is going technology can facilitate but is not sufficient fine so let's retreat further the dangerous illusion of technology is that it can create stronger top down accountability of service providers in implementation intensive services with an existing public sector organization lots of uh, jargon one notion is that electronic management information system keep better track of inputs and those aspects of personal that are ms visible and that is electronic management information system visible can lead to better services okay i'm getting a sense here uh, having technology measure and track a bunch of things keeps us helps us keep track of these inputs and this merely tracking it makes them better services okay. a recent study examined attempts to increase attendance of auxiliary nurse midwife at clinics in rajasthan which involved high tech time clocks to monitor attendance super monitoring attendance using an ems that's a classic electronic management information system idea Uh, so they have tried it let's see what the result says the study's title says it all bandages on a corpse e governance can be just as bad as any other governance when the real issue is people and their motivation now i get a sense of where this is going very similar to our metric fixation problem right? basically saying you keep tracking you your our belief that some of these things if you track them it is better and you put a lot of technology around it you put an attendance measurement using fingerprint you measure how close they are how much they read how much time they spend with patients measure everything and so but interaction is important if in in the service so some motivation is lagging and some other aspects are important then all this measurement is going to achieve pistosh that's what it is hitting that's so that's where it is headed right so a couple of points are very very important bandages on a corpse bandaid on a corpse imagine that so it's useless if something e governance can be as bad as real governance when the real issue is people and their motivation if people are not motivated you can measure the crap out of them but the service won't deliver won't won't improve that's the crux of it the first paragraph last line but the evidence so far in 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 education for instance is that adding computers won't make education any better just techizing things just amping up the tech is not going to solve your motivation problem and let's go continue with the passage for services to improve the pro- people providing the services have to want to do a better job with the skills they have of course this is so crucial a study of medical care in delhi found that even though providers in the public sector had much better skills than private sector providers their provision of care in actual practice was much worse and so they didn't have the motivation to Uh, turn up and do the job in government hospitals in implementation intensive services the key to success is face to face interaction between a teacher a nurse a policeman an extension agent and a citizen citizen on one side provider on the other side so if that that key to success is the face to face interaction then tracking everything might not help this relationship is about power amartya sen's report on education in west bengal had a supremely telling anecdote in which the villagers forced the teacher to attend school but then when the parents went off to work the teacher did not teach but forced the children to massage his feet as long as the system empowers providers over citizens technology is irrelevant is so true you are on a wonderfully happy uh, fat government paycheck with pensions guaranteed in a system where nobody can really fire you or keep you accountable you can measure whatever the hell you want to measure but the guy there knows that you can do nothing with the measurement so he is going to behave in the same way when amping up measurement with technology might not yield anything the answer to successfully providing basic services is to create systems that provide both autonomy and accountability good luck with that fine every time i see this phrase i get a little worked up 
autonomy and accountability they are conflicting objectives it's like saying uh, how to cook food which is that is t- tasty and healthy just kidding you can probably do that autonomy and accountability you give more freedom then you're automatically challenging accountability so it's a, it's a tricky thing easier said than done in basic education for instance the answer to poor teaching is not controlling teachers more the key is to hire teachers who want to teach and let them teach expressing their professionalism and vocation as a teacher through autonomy in the classroom i am a big fan of this every time we recruit somebody to teach we don't prescribe a script if the person knows the stuff it will come out in class but if you prescribe a script then something is lost there's a magic in grabbing an idea and explaining it in a way the person who's teaching has got it but if you overcoach teachers they're going to try to deliver it in a way the system has understood it which will go to like a common minimum program it will neither have the greatness of system example nor have the flair of the teacher example the analogy is just won't sit there will be no ownership and communication it just fall through the cracks when should get good people and give them freedom this autonomy has to be matched with accountability for results not just narrowly measured through test scores but broadly for the quality of the education they provide true there should be autonomy if you give autonomy you should have accountability if you're saying look teach in your own style then you've got to say then your results have to be through the roof i'm giving you freedom but you give me results and the, which is why it's a big challenge a recent study in uttar pradesh showed that if somehow all civil service teachers could be replaced with contract teachers the state could save a billion dollars a year in revenue and double student and double student learning right just the additional autonomy and accountability of contracts through local groups even without complementary system changes in information and empowerment led to that much improvement just the idea that how well you teach has a bearing on whether you are called the next day matters right the first step to being part of the solution is to create performance information accessible to those outside of the government so you can have 100 measurement systems and create this uh, keep them monitored all the time but if they have all the power they can basically say you measure whatever the hell you want to measure i'll behave as such as i behave whereas if the perf- if information is shared to local people who govern it and they are empowered they are given a power to keep check and balance the panchayat has the freedom to give bonus of the for the teacher who is performing then we could have something let's go to the question let's go to the uh, questions in this passage the main purpose of the passage is to what is the main purpose of the passage let's think about this to say don't the, the technology in measurement and tracking is not sufficient Uh, you have to have autonomy and accountability fine let's look at this critique the government's involvement in educational activities and other implementation intensive services no that's not what it is argue that some types of services can be improved by providing independence and requiring accountability autonomy and accountability that is independence and accountability this is true the autonomy angle is the reason why the first one third of the passage was talking about measurement activities being not really giving the right input that you want analyze the shortcomings of government appointed nurses and their management through technology observed just an illustration just an example right so there's no discussion on government appointed nurses being the main theme find a solution to the problem of poor service delivery in education by examining different strategies different strategies are not being the whole theme is technology for measurement is not sufficient autonomy and accountability are the magic bullets so choice b it is in the context of the passage we can infer that the title bandages on a corpse suggests that oh bandages on a corpse interesting interesting think about it. you have a corpse and you sticking a bandaid on it and so some you're doing some random measurement but they are not motivated you have a bunch of not motivated nurses you do why you and you're talking about some nonsense by measuring their attendance it's useless and so the motivation problem is the elephant in the room you're doing you're measuring some other nonsense that's where the bandage on a corpse paragraph was used 
the nurses who attended the clinics were too poorly trained to provide appropriate no they were not motivated and this emis system is not helping in any way the electronic monitoring system was a superficial solution to a serious problem we have a winner the serious problem is motivation electronic monitoring system is a random measurement which is not helping in any way the nurses attended the clinics but the clinics were ill equipped no that's not what is being said the clinics were better funded but performance monitoring did not result in any improvement it did not result in any improvement because the problem was elsewhere that's what choice b is saying that's the right answer according to the author service delivery in indian education can be improved in all of the following ways except through use of technology yes yes uh, it's not author is not a big fan of this because he says just having technology is not sufficient but there's nothing which says technology is useless recruitment of motivated teachers yes get people who want to teach who like to teach and then give them the freedom access to information on the quality of teaching yes so he says give the information share it with everybody make it transparent that will improve elimination of government involvement is not being said anywhere he saying accountability has to be increased uh, the, the up example where he says if civil civil servants were not there but contractors were their quality would improve that is to illustrate that if accountability is higher then performance will improve not necessarily to decrease the involvement of government and nowhere is he saying eliminate government involvement so the government still creates a framework fine so there's nowhere is he saying eliminating government involvement elimination is a strong word that's not being hinted at the author questions the use of monitoring systems in services that involve face to face interaction between service providers and clients because such systems because they don't account for the face to face interaction account for the the the, the personal interactions they, they they don't solve the motivation problem right do not improve services that need committed service providers true they do not so this is we already like this choice are not as effective in the public sector as they are in the private sector no evidence for this improve the skills but do not increase the motivation of service provider they do not increase the motivation but i don't know how they improve the skills they just track the presence and performance i don't know whether they improve the skills so this is definitely true they do not increase the motivation that's a real problem and so but uh, i don't know that they improve the skills are ineffective because they are managed by the government no and so b and d are straight away eliminated a and c are close but the committed service provider this probably talks about the motivation issue do not improve services and so i would go with a more than c because improving the skills that's not mentioned anywhere which is the following if true could undermine the passages main argument passages main argument wherever personal interactions are involved then motivation is a big gap and wherever you can create accountability and autonomy you'll have success wherever service oriented industries are there but these other things are gimmicky right if absolute instead of moderate technological surveillance is exercised over the performance of service providers not relevant is not going to undermine this and empowerment of service providers leads to increased complacency and rigged performance yes this will seriously undermine when so empowering is a major plank of uh, major solution that the author is suggesting give them autonomy hold them accountable but give them uh, the chance to design their own canvas says teachers go do whatever you want to do i don't want you to come i don't want you to submit reports i don't want you to tell me what you have done i don't want you to just to do these three things if you want to freak out freak out but create great results for me have your own plan is what the author is suggesting but if you tell the teacher if you want to freak out you freak out the teacher will say okay these are the books you run i am sitting and relax, relaxing when it comes to exam time i'll give you more marks for everybody win win situation if that happens then this whole passage of theory is gets undermined so choice b seems to be the obvious right answer we will go through c and d as well if it were proven that increase in autonomy of service providers leads to an exponential increase in their work ethic and sense of responsibility as far as not likely to happen if it is true 
then that is supporting the passage majorly not undermining if it are proven that service providers in the private sector have better skills than those in the public sector it's not a private sector public sector argument give autonomy hold them accountable don't be anal about uh, emis data and see that your motivate your workforce gets more motivated that's the whole crux and so if empowerment leads to complacency the whole edifice breaks choice p it is